So good afternoon to all. Hope you're doing great. So in this video, we'll be discussing about Subic share. So previously, when we discussed about this particular stock, we have done the complete technical analysis, and also we have discussed all the important supports and resistances. So today, we'll try to discuss about the same levels because many people are having many doubts. What will be the next possible targets? And most importantly, within a short span of time, it has given some. very huge moment because of the very update that we have discussed yesterday so will it continue that particular uptrend or will it show any sort of profit booking we'll try to discuss that in today's video so before that if you are new to the channel then definitely subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon to get instantly notified and most importantly do join the telegram group because in telegram we'll discuss all the instant updates followed by stocks for intraday swing and long term i'll provide a link in the description followed by comment section okay so firstly before getting into the technical charts so we'll try to analyze the day to day wise deliveries so clearly you can see yesterday a very good delivery percentage was there somewhere around 62.1% so as compared to previous trading sessions also many people have showed the interest on this particular stock because of the partnership update related to jio and subex so that one update has triggered the stock to go in the upside direction and very good volumes are maintained on daily basis but today also initially it showed a gap up of 13 to 14% and later it has hit that 6% upside moment so direct upper circuit was not there so people who were planning to enter they got the opportunity but now the first biggest question is will it continue that uptrend in the coming days because previously also when we had done the technical analysis we have seen all the major uh, resistances that the company has in the near term but if you see today almost it has come closer to the next important major level so what is that level and whether we can buy or not we'll try to discuss that right so firstly we'll try to discuss on the weekly chart so you can see today it has closed somewhere around 39.95 and if you observe the technical chart i have marked one important level of 41.76 so this level was uh, drawn way back when the stock used to trade near that particular zone so after that it has come down again it is approaching the same level so closing above this zone is going to be very very important in the coming days that is tomorrow if it does the closing above this particular level we can expect it will go in the upside direction so if not again it may come down to the 35 rupees level so after coming to the 35 it may move little sideways and again form uh a inverted head and shoulder type of a pattern and bounce back till the 41 so this is what i am expecting so only if you want to take a fresh entry so my suggestion would be around 45 or in this particular zone once it sustains above then only you can plan for entry so before that just wait and observe it because already we have seen some huge movement in the short term perspective already 40% in two days and before that also it has given some 6% up move so already huge up move is there so let us wait let it come down little bit near 35 zone or uh, don't plan to buy there also just wait for 45 levels so once it comes there we'll have a confirmation that it will go in the upside direction because this is a weekly chart so it will take little bit time so let's even go to daily chart Okay, so if you observe the daily chart, uh, daily chart also is looking little bit bullish, but uh, the closing above the most important zone that is already visible on the technical chart that is going to be important because previous candle was a very good dragonfly type of a doji which is a bullish candle. Today also we have seen some very good movement, but tomorrow and in the coming days the movement is going to be very very important. So that will keep in radar and follow the levels, whatever levels I've mentioned. If you follow it. then nothing to worry supports are 35 near term resistance and buying zone would be 45 above so any further queries you can ask in the comment section and also you can connect with me in instagram instagram id is stocks derivative so until then stay safe take care bye bye